Hello, you are highly welcome. And this is the second example under the labor costing. And I told you specifically that I got this question from the Yabatec, uh, from the last potent past question. The only difference I did or the only thing I changed there was just the names, okay? Just the names. So, we have a question, and just like in the introductory video I gave us, you can see we have this table on the board where we have the name, the time taken, the basic rate, the basic pay, the bonus, and the total wages. Remember I told us again that um, this table it will make it easy for us to understand every form of question or how to derive these stuffs. Like to derive our basic pay, you can see from here, we we'll have the time taken. So we'll do the time taken multiplied by the basic rate, we give us the basic pay. And the basic pay plus the bonus will give us the total wages, which is also the gross pay, all right? So just like in the first video we saw for the students in Yabatec. So, despite the fact you're in Laspotec, I will still advise you to watch the previous video. Don't say because it is specifically for Yabatec, so you don't need to watch it. We'll learn every day, all right? There is something you can still grab or learn from that video. Okay, so let us proceed. Harrison and Darlington works with City Crafts Limited and their details as follows. So they gave us the details and we are told to calculate the workers' remuneration. Calculate the workers' remuneration. So, calculate the workers' remuneration. Okay, using, so from the question it says we should use the house sale bonus scheme using house sale bonus scheme. So I remember, I know you know the formulas very well. The formula is very, very important because it will help you to attempt whatever kind of question you have, okay? So what do we do here? First of all, let us take a look at this table. It came in a different form than the first one we saw, or even the example or the introductory video I gave us. Now, we have our basic rates. We have 55 and we have 65. Remember I told us that sometimes the basic rates might be given as one particular value for the whole workers, okay? Sometimes it will be separated, each worker having its own or his or her own basic rate. So like in this question, Harrison's basic rate is 55, Darlington's basic rate is 65. You can see the rates are different. Then we have time allowed per 100 units in hours. We have two, we have one. Production unit, one, two, and one, four. Time taken in hours, we have six and we have nine, okay? Now remember, to apply this formula here, there are things which we need to take note of. First of all, we'll apply, the, we'll take the normal steps, but when we get to the bonus, before we solve the bonus, we need to derive the time allowed. We know what the formula for the household bonus scheme says, all right? One over two times time saved times basic rates, okay? So we also need to know the exact value because the time allowed is supposed and it is always greater than the time taken. Remember, to get the time saved, it is time allowed minus time taken. So you can't say 2 minus 6, it gives you minus 4. Okay, so we'll also try as much as we can to read through these questions to understand better. If you watch again, it says time allowed per 100 units. So it means for each of these units, whereby he produced 1002, for each of those units, the time allowed per each of the units were 100 units, okay? So, in order for us to determine or to get the exact value or the exact hours that, he, uh, that was actually allowed, then we are going to divide this 1002, which is the production unit, with the units, then we we'll multiply it by this particular hour we have here to get the new value for the time allowed that we now use to subtract this, okay? It is very easy. One will solve you, understand it better. So it goes this way. We have Harrison and Darlington. So we have Harrison. Let me abbreviate it here. Harry. And we have Darlington. Let me abbreviate this as well, Dal. But in the exams, please do not abbreviate, all right? It is not allowed. Do not abbreviate. I'm only doing this for you to understand better. So for Harry, we have what? 55. First of all, we don't just jump into the, we, 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 we go through the table. We have time taken. And what is the time taken? We have time taken in hours. We have, for Harrison, we have six. So we have six here, all right? Then for Darlington, we have nine. We continue, we have nine, okay? Then basic rates. Basic rates, we have the basic rates here, okay? The basic rate is what? 
we have 55 for Harry and for Dow we have 65 okay so the basic pay how do we get the basic pay remember in the introductory video I told us that the time taken times the basic rate gives us the basic pay even in the previous video we solved it when we are told to determine the gross pay all right you remember it was this same thing we did okay so it was the time taken times the basic rate so we are going to multiply these two values and we are going to multiply this all right so six times 55 gives us 330 then 9 times 65 gives us 585 so this is the value for their basic pay, all right? So we'll come to bonus. And remember I told us, we won't just jump into the bonus, all right? We need to determine the real, the exact time allowed, which will say the new time allowed. So how do we go about it? You just come down a bit, you write time allowed. So we are going to calculate the time allowed for each of the workers, all right? We are going to calculate for Harry and for Dal. So we have Harry. Then we have who again? For that, so we we'll proceed. See how we we'll go about this. So we want to get the new time allowed. So what we we'll do is this: we we'll consider the production units. Okay, the production where what Harry produced generally was what one thousand two hundred units. So we we'll have one thousand two hundred. This will be divided by the units by the price by the um, per unit value, which is hundred. Then we we'll multiply by the time allowed that is given to us in the question. With this, we'll determine the exact time that Harrison used, or the exact time that was allocated to Harrison. So to get the exact time that was allocated to Darlington, we'll now pick the units that Darlington produced, which is what, 1,400 units, all right? He produced this, we use the same R, which is 100, and we'll now multiply by what, one. So, 1,200 divided by 100 times 2 gives us 24. Then we'll apply the same thing here. 1,400 divided by 100 times 1 gives us 14. So, these values we have now, now represents the time allowed, okay? So, for Harrison, the time allowed is no longer 2, but what? 24, okay? For Darlington, the time allowed is no longer 1, but what? 14, all right? So, let us go. The next thing we are going to do before we solve the bonus, we remember we are solving for housing bonus scheme, and the formula says what? 1 over 2 times time saved times basic rate. Is there anything like time saved here? No. And how do we determine the time saved? We will now consider what? The time allowed, okay, and the time taken. So there is the more reason why we, need, why we needed to get the exact time allowed. Because this particular value can't be the exact time allowed here. Now, in some questions, this might come in seconds. When it comes to seconds, you convert it to hours, then you solve, all right? Okay. So, the bonus. Now, how do we get the bonus? So, we'll write down bonus. And for Harry, we also have the value for Harry. And we also have the value for Dow. Remember, we are solving with what? House bonus scheme. And we remember the formula 1 over 2 times time saved times basic rates. So for Harry, it goes this way 1 over 2 times time saved. How do we get our time saved? Let us come back now. What is our time saved? Sorry. Yeah, what is our time saved now? How do we determine the time saved? Remember, I told us again it is the time allowed minus time taken. So what is the time allowed? The time allowed now is what? 24, right? So we have 24 minus, what is the time taken? The time taken is 6. So 24 minus 6 gives us the value for Harry, right? So to get for that letter, remember, time allowed minus time taken is equals to time saved. Remember, and that is what we want to get now, the time saved, which is TS. So the time allowed is what? The new time allowed for that is what? 14. So we have 14 minus the time taken, and the time taken is what? 9. Alright? So 24 minus 6 here we have 18. We have 18 here. And here we have what? We have um, 5. We have 5. 
okay so that is it so we've gotten the value for the time saved and the value for the time saved so one over two times time saved what is the time saved now for harry we have 18 times the basic rate in the question we have the basic rate as what 55 so we have 55 okay so we we'll get the answer so when we come to Darlington, we apply the same thing. 1 over 2 times what? The time saved is what now? 5 times the basic rate for Darlington is what? 65. So we get the answer. So when we multiply and divide here, we get 495. Okay? When we apply the same thing here, we get 162.5. Alright? So this is the bonus being allocated to down Darlington. And this is the um, bonus being allocated to Harry. So we'll bring these values and we'll put them in the table. So we have what? 4.95. And we have what? 162.5. Okay? So to get the total wages, remember as what we did in the previous video, the ones we saw for the students in Yabatec, you add your basic pay and the bonus to get the gross profit. That was what we did there, right? The gross pay. Okay, so we are going to apply the same thing here. We are going to add these two values to get for Harry. We'll add these two values to also get for Dow. Okay, so 330 plus 495 gives us what? 825. Okay, 825. So 585 plus 162.5 gives us 747.5. All right, so. What do we have here? Remember the question. Let us go back to the question again. The question says what? That we should calculate the remuneration of the workers. So the particular value we get here now represents the total remuneration of the workers. All right? So how do we get it? We'll now add up these two values. We'll now say 825 plus 747.5. So when we add these two values, it gives us what now we are talking about total wages and you know it all has to do with money so our final answer we have the naira sign okay so we have 1572.5 so this particular value represents what the total remuneration of the workers all right of the workers and this is just it this is exactly the way you should solve it so take a look at the steps i took how we got the new time allowed how we determine the time saved when we added time allowed minus time taken to get the time saved that is how we got this value we follow through the process all right so for the students in last protect this is the way majority of your questions are being solved okay so try as much as you can to rewind this video, try as much as you can to pause and write down some things when necessary. Get a better understanding because it is very, very important. So that once you see such questions in the examination hall, you will know you've done it and you've attempted it on several basis and you won't have any challenge with it. So my good friends, thank you. One more video left to go and that particular video will give you a general knowledge on the labor costing, all right? So if you're still getting it twisted, Try and watch the introductory video because I gave down, I broke down the analysis for you to understand better. Do have a good day. I wish you the best. Thank you.